Having a ride under Mum lets you learn what life is about and what things are good to eat while staying cosy and safe. But somersaulting into a pouch is never a simple procedure. And if Mum wants you out, out you come. Suckling's easy, though getting in and out is hard to get right. Mothers don't always help. Pouches, though, are no protection from sun disasters. October, and summer is on its way. This year, it brings unusual trouble. There's heavy rain, and mosquito populations boom. The insects carry a virulent parasite, which attacks and kills the biggest ruse. In just three weeks, the population in the park is devastated. Over 50% of the roos die, mostly the large males and the bigger females. But the disease creates another tragedy one that affects the young. Lots of joeys the same age as Elvis are wandering around without mums. They don't seem to know in which direction to go to search for food and congregate in little groups all over the park. Youngsters usually suckle from their mums for over a year Without this essential nourishment, one by one, throughout the park, the little joeys give up the fight for life. Did mother and son survive the plague? Remarkably, Ruby has made it. She survived the hardest challenge she's ever faced. And so has Elvis. They've survived partly because she's a smallish Roo, so the mozzies didn't have much body to bite. And partly it was just pure good luck 